Hey folks, today is July the 9th, currently 6.37 in the afternoon. Today we're going to do our MG Pro EA week number 8 update review. If you recall, last week we earned 0.99%. And I did mention last week that I was going to be uh, switching things over to the new updated version of the EA. And we can take a look here in the Telegram chat. Great news, MG Pro update is finally ready and everything is set and sent out to your registered email. And the update includes news filter, one new trading pair, fixed stop loss, below 18% drawdown average, selective and accurate trade operation, 6 to 12% monthly profit. For more information, check the guidebook. We will take a look at that in a moment here. The fear of accounts being blown up is now eliminated thanks to our new stop loss and high trade accuracy update. MG Pro is now one of the safest EAs developed, so long as you follow our recommended settings, which I do plan to do. The new MG Pro update has been modified for those who are looking for a safe EA to run on their larger fund accounts. All right, let's take a look here real quick at the manual MG Pro version 3 EA. And I should also mention that after they sent this out, I did get this was on, I think the so this was on June 29th. I did get another uh, update on, I think, July 7th, stating that uh, they had changed something or other. And I got a, a new updated manual here. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look here. Recommended settings. This is all pretty uh, standard stuff here. We come down, we can see the EA is trading on your USD, AUD USD, AUD NZD, NZD CAD, and GBP USD. There's some differences in the time frames. We can see here uh, Euro USD, GBP USD, and NZD CAD are on one minute charts, and AUD NZD and AUD USD are going to be on five minute charts. And each one of these currency pairs has its own uh, specific settings, and they do give you the files that are uh, preset for those settings. And we can scroll down here where they talk about not messing with the settings once you get it set up. Please do not change anything in the input section as we already have put the best settings. Also having open trades and drawdown as normal. Do not close any trades manually. Wait for the EA to close them. So this is all important information right here. All right, then they just talk about the VPS that they recommend and the broker that they recommend. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead now and take a look at our new updated MG Pro MyFX book account. I just got this set up today. All right, the previous one is here. As you guys can see, MG Pro EA demo results. You can see retired, and that one down there, retired. All right, so this is our current account. New MG Pro July updated EA demo results. Broker is going to be OPO Forex. 0 0.01 per $1,000. And if we come over here, we can see what recommendation they have. For each 1,000 USD fund, lot size must be 0 0.01. Okay. And as you can see here, 0 0.01 per 1,000 is my uh, lot size that I'm going to be going with. All right. So we have a $5,000 account. As you guys can see here, a $5,000 SIM account. So we're going to be going with, let me pull this up. Fixed lot size of 0.05. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it does say 0.05 up here. All right. As you can see, we do have a little bit of drawdown going into the weekend. At present, drawdown is at 1.90%. And for our first week of trading with this, uh, with the new, uh, actually, that says July 2nd. What was July 2nd? All right, so that was on Friday. Maybe I got it set up on Friday. All right, anyhow, 0 .0, excuse me, 1.02% for the week is what we've earned. And if we scroll down here, we can see 1.02, obviously, for the month of July here. So definitely uh, starting off on a positive note with a bit of drawdown here. We'll take a look at that momentarily once we jump into the VPS itself. All right, let's take a look over here at the news for the week. Monday, no high impact releases there. Tuesday, ISM Services PMI. Wednesday, FOMC Meeting Minutes. Thursday, nothing there. Ah, we did have unemployment claims here. That can cause a spike or a whipsaw depending on the numbers. And nothing really on Friday 
that will have uh, given us any headaches there. And momentarily, we'll check out how the vendor did this week. But let's go ahead and check out my results here. And as you guys can see, we have a $5,000 account, fresh account. We're up $50.91. And we have currently $108 in drawdown going into the weekend on our $5,000 account. So definitely okay with that. And we can scroll up here. Okay, so it looks like this account was started on July the 2nd. Okay, so it was started July the 2nd. First trade was actually taken on the 5th. And first day of the week is the 5th. All right. So as we can see, we did have a few losing trades to start things out. But that was followed by quite a few winners to balance that out. And it looks like as things went on, our winners definitely outnumbered our losses. And so we were able to close out the week with $50.91 in profit on the week. And you can also see here, I don't believe I had this set up last time, but we do have the news filter set up here now, which is uh, definitely a good thing. And like I said, each one of these currency pairs has its own preset file. So when you guys uh, get the file and everything set up, you're going to want to make sure that you use those preset files for each uh, corresponding currency pair. And we can definitely see that we got nothing but smiley faces up top. So everything is running the way it's supposed to be. And just set up my Facebook today so I can have that ready for you guys. And we got a smiley face up there. So that's reporting the way it should be. All right. So definitely off to a good start. We'll uh, continue to let it run and see how things go with my FX book or with the my FX book uh, results here with MG Pro. Let's go ahead now and check out how things are going with our MG Pro or how the, how things are going with the, vin, the vendor's MG Pro accounts. And he did say that he uh, shut down his 100K account so that he can uh, open up a new one. So hopefully they'll get that set up soon. All right. Let's go ahead now and take a look. First account with the minimum funding of $500. And we can take a look here. So it looks like this week, 0.14, negative 0.14. So they actually didn't do that well this week, but it looks like they had a bit of drawdown and they were able to uh, close out some of that drawdown just based on what I'm seeing here. I'm not sure if this is the updated version of the EA or if they're only going to be updating the 100K account. So I'm not sure uh, what's going on with this. But all I can do is report exactly what I see to you guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead now and take a look and see if you guys have given any of your results for the previous week. And let's go ahead and check it out here. All right, we have seven comments here and let's see here thank you for the update my live robot did about the same i'm now running sim account on the new update all right thank you thanks to you i started trading with this ea it's my first time i invested real money i can see it's working and i have profits just hoping it's going to be long-term profit not going to blow my account all right so congrats on uh just getting started with your first live account definitely uh excited for you on that and this individual's robot did about the same, and that is about 1% for last week. So hopefully this week we'll, uh, I'll be able to get some, some of your guys' results as well for this week. Definitely let me know in the comments section how you guys did with MG Pro, and we'll just uh, go with it from there. Whether you had good, good results or bad results, regardless of what they were, let me know, and I will feature them in the video. All right, folks, if you, guys, if you guys have any questions whatsoever on the MG Pro EA, send them my way, and I will try to get those answered for you. And if you want to test it out yourself, make sure you guys use the link below to help support the channel. All right, folks, hope you have a great weekend, and I hope you had a great week, and I will see you on the next update. Take care, folks.